All right, so I was just shopping at, or I wasn't even really shopping, didn't get a chance to, but I went to KW Surplus up there, back there. And as I'm driving there, I could see a CN train going over the bridge over the, I don't know, I, I'm not too familiar with Kitchener, but it was going over some bridge over some, I think it might have been a hot, the highway actually, but anyways, I'm like, fuck, of course, the only time I forget, or don't have my camera on me, or whatever, didn't think I would need it, and there's a train, so I caught a little video on my phone, and I got a picture, posted it to Instagram, so I went into KW Surplus, and I was like, ah, there's a good, a good video opportunity out there right now, and I just am letting it slip away. Thinking of which, I might be letting it slip away again. I don't know, I thought I could hear it. Now I can't. But I thought to myself, instead of letting it slip away, I'll go back home, get my camera and all that, and come back. Thankfully, I'm at my dad's in Breslau, so I don't have to drive that far. Oh, these stairs are killer. But I can see him down there in the yard, just sitting there. Just sitting there teasing me. Um, is he still there? Yep, yeah, just sitting there. If I can get in close enough, like a zoom wise, I'll show you. But it's sunny out, so I can't see shit. I don't know down can't even see down there somewhere you can see the exhaust I could kind of see it from where I'm standing but yeah he's just sitting there he's doing work earlier when I was down this way but not now I can't tell if that's the conductor there throwing a switch down there I don't know and of course another time where I forget my fucking tripod so yeah, there's that um, yeah, I don't really want to put it on these uh, camera on these railings you know it's a uh, it's quite a drop down there so, I don't know if anything happens, I'll turn it back on or I'll try to at least. I was wrong, that wasn't the conductor down there. I took the binoculars out and had a look and it was a homeless person. And then another homeless person came walking up on me. But he just went under the bridge. I got sick of standing in the cold. And uh, if I don't get the shot, then whatever, there's always next time. It's fucking cold out there though. But we're going to go down the street closer to the yard and we're going to spy on him from there. So I decided that we're going to sit right here because I got a nice view of that bridge that goes over the highway. And I'll just settle with a picture and a video of that if he doesn't take a million years to cross it. Because I haven't heard anything on the radio or nothing. But... I will worry about the overhead shot on that footbridge over there some other day. Too damn cold out right now. But we're in this kind of dirt lot right beside Victoria Street. And I don't know how legal it is to sit here. I don't really care to be honest because there's no fences or anything blocking it off. You just drive right in there. But instead I came around to the back of this building. And I might even pull up a little bit more, I don't know. But if a cop pulls in and asks me what I'm doing, um, it'll be content. So, I'll be able to trick you all into watching my mediocre videos with a cop in the thumbnail, how about that? Um, 
I don't know, I might pull up a bit further, but I don't want to get stuck. I'm not in an off-road vehicle by no means, I'm in a Honda Civic. Very good on gas, not very good off-roading, so. Um, yeah, enough rambling, hopefully something happens. Skip's really rolling in today. Clear on 19, well it was. Let's see if I can get a radio check from the highway. Uh, did anybody give me a radio check? I guess not. Last weekend though, I was by the 401. I got one. These are just guys with mostly with base stations in the United States. You got a lot of high power. Not enough not enough for me though. I wish I had a bigger antenna on top of the car. There is this guy that I do listen to the odd time on channel nineteen. Uh, he's very hated. They even constantly talk about him when he's not on there. I don't know, you can call him Hard drive. Yeah, tell him you spoke to Mr. Hard Drive. If you can call him Mud Duck in the Desert, Barefoot Mud Duck in the Desert, Mark Sherman, um, Fine Tune CB Shop. He's got his own YouTube channel. He likes to troll other people. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I find it funny. I like listening to him. It's funny. He's got a very distinct voice. He comes in very clear. People who use Channel 19, though, obviously don't like it, which it's understandable. But I don't know. I find him funny. He's constantly making fun of how shitty people's radio sounds and all that. Me, I mean, do you care that you're an utter splatter box? Do you care that you are? You know you are, or don't you? A lot of people tell him off. You thought I was a big base station just a little while ago. If I've even heard people threatening to say that they're going to go down and find them. Now, whatever that means, I don't know, but I'm sure it doesn't mean anything good. But yeah, he's all he's from Lordsburg, New Mexico. So I'm picking up guys from New Mexico on here, which isn't unheard of, you know. If you take this knob right here. Move everything out of the way. You take that knob there, turn it all the way up. You take the knob on the volume button, black collar around there, and the volume button itself. It'll get rid of all the noise. The more you turn it down, the more noise will come in. I see Central Florida East Coast. But yeah, that first knob is called RF gain. Don't ask me what RF gain means, I don't know. Or probably radio frequency. <laughs> um, the second one that I was turning on the volume button, the black part on it is actually called the uh, squelch. And that cancels out all the background noise, so only the clearest will come in. The RF gain is kind of the same thing. The more you turn the RF... 
Yeah. The more you turn the RF gain up, the more the more that's gonna come in. Um, I'm not very good at explaining this stuff, but yeah, that's a little bit I pick up. It's fun to listen to. CB skip. Uh, you can hear a bunch of dead guys who, you know, it's kind of like they do their own radio stations. Some of them play music. It's that's kind of annoying. And some of them will just play stupid sounds. Somebody was playing, like, as I was pulling over here, somebody was playing a song. I forget what it was, but it was coming in very high pitch, and it sucked. But, I don't know, let's try to get another radio check. Hey, why don't you try to make contact? Instead of just playing in the room, putting your echo on and saying stupid shit. Why don't you try to actually make a contact with somebody? That's annoying, man. Somebody's getting mad. That, that is like three times more annoying than me just saying worldwide all day long. Like, say something to somebody. Don't, don't talk, don't, don't talk reference hard drive all day long in the, in the echo. That's stupid. <laughs> See, they're talking no, about it. funny, I'm serious. That's annoying as shit, yeah. See, they're talking about that hard drive guy right now, Mark Sherman. Like, he's not even on right now, or else you'd hear him. And they, they just they continue to talk about him. That's how, how much he bothers everybody. Except for me, like I said. I don't know. I turn that squelch up a little bit, turn that volume up, and have that RF gain kind of halfway. Can anybody hear me out there? Give me a radio check. I don't know. I guess last time I got somebody's attention because I made a weird noise at first. I didn't think anybody would answer. And somebody did. Hello, hello. Is anybody copy? I don't know. Guess not. Anyways, if this if this fucking asshole hurries up, then we'll be able to get some footage. But I don't know. I don't want to wear all the memory out on the cards. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. about him all morning. But, you know, that's what I was talking about yesterday. So. But, uh, yeah, I just figured I'd turn the camera on quick and show you. And I gotta re-edit the whole video that I filmed yesterday because I ended up I edited everything, got it done nicely, then the, uh, the editor crashed during export and I lost everything. But it's my fault, I should have saved it, but I didn't. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to redo all that. Maybe he can let me know if the train's coming. Don't worry buddy, it's not like you're gonna get hit. I don't know, I'm starting to think this guy took off the other way because I've been sitting here for a while and still haven't heard or seen anything. It's typical. Of course, leave my camera at home, all the action happens.
go home to get it? Nothing. I was going to consider walking up over there where that guy on the bike was earlier. And look down to see if I could still see him over there, but... I don't know, I'm probably just going to back out of this spot and go over there and... Try to see if I can get a peek, but... I'm not about to sit here and wait all day for nothing. It's the only thing with this hobby is you gotta have patience and I I have patience to a certain degree and when it comes to this, like I don't know, it gets old, but what can you do? It's what I choose to do, so nobody else's fault but mine. But I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna see and you know see if i've just wasted my time the whole time i don't know right here seems like a good spot because you know, over there i think you can see into the yard a little bit can't actually park here because it's a uh, the fire zone but nobody's in this building right now so i guess it's not a fire zone right now I'm gonna pull out the binoculars first though. I'm gonna have a look over there and at least see if I can see the exhaust coming out of the locomotive. That's how I could see it last time on the bridge. And then who knows, maybe we'll get out for a walk and walk through this lovely field of garbage and see. So we're walking through the field now. Um, oh Jesus. It's already kind of a swamp right there. And let's see where this path goes. There's the swamp. Soft and wet down here. I think we're shit out of luck. Yeah, I think there's a camp over there. So I'm gonna get out of here. I don't think he's up there anymore. I already looked with the binoculars, didn't see anything. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. Let's get out of this mud pit though. It's covered in things now. I knew I shouldn't have done that. Down here in front of my car, it looks like there's some sort of camp. Yeah. Chair there. Bunch of garbage. And all that stuff. Really is nice how they leave the state of this place, isn't it? Oh, gotta unlock my car. Oh well. What can you do?
That is how rail fanning goes. Sometimes it works in your favor. Sometimes it doesn't. You bet it will. Um, normally in my situation, it's not on my side. Can't I can't lower this down anymore. But yeah, normally if you're in my situation, it does. It's never on your side. I mean, how many times have I went home and all of a sudden the activity starts up? Or like, for example, I'd happen to pull out of this parking lot right now, and then he would go by. It's just, you know, it's, I think that's what they call Murphy's Law. I don't know, now I'm in some factory parking lot that I probably shouldn't be in, and the yard's right there. And I can't hear that locomotive rumbling, so that's probably a good sign that he's gone. Oh well. I tried. So this video will probably get a lot more dislikes than anything, or no views at all the usual shit but I tried at least I provided some entertainment with uh, my CB radio <sighs> anyways um, I'm gonna try to get out of here eh, maybe I'll go that way Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, Lordy Jesus. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm done. Unless something else pops up, but before this light turns green, I should, uh, I should go. So, bye.